Each of you, your individual right. choices, all tallied up at the precise moment of your death. It's the one thing that can't be altered. Keep me here. Try and kill me. It is not going to change Lily Sunder's fate, but it might change yours. Smart boy. Soslov? You sure? I know him. He's here. And he does know him because he was there. See anything? Whatever comes through that door, I'll distract him so you can run. I'm not going anywhere. Jack? Cass? Is this going to be the empty though pose in his Cass? Or is it actually Cass? <laughs> it's not Cass because the other girl would be with him. The other angel. Hello, Castillo. Kelly. So sorry. Is it Cass? I failed you. You didn't. You didn't. Jack is... He's wonderful. Oh my god, it is Cass, is What are you doing here? Sam and Dean and I, we found a way to bring you home. So, I'll be alive again. Yeah. To do so, we... We need to use magic that will draw on your soul. What do you mean, my soul? It'll be just a small piece. And I know it's too much to ask, but it's the only way. No, I, I don't know. It's not just Jack's life that's at stake. It... The empty has invaded heaven because it wants you. Why him? Because Jack is half angel and we angels, when we die, we go to another place. It's a place that's just endless nothing. And this entity, it won't stop until it finds you. But if you're not here, if you're alive, then it'll leave heaven. Smart. Duma. Try again. Oh, it's the empty. This ain't good. This is not good. Lily, I, I know Just you're upset. Just do it anyway, Lila. I mean, if you're going to go anyway. It's not the boys' That wasn't fault. the deal. You tight cow. I'm glad you're going to hell then. Enjoy it. He's our kid. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry? She's sorry? You know what I think? Burning all that soul? You're not even human anymore. Not really. Dang. Otherwise, how could you ever, ever let anyone go through what you went through? Yes. Yes. The pain of losing a kid? I remember her being nicer than this. You ready to go? No, you stay away from him. <sighs> Castile, you know how this goes. The good soul's here, the bad soul's there. Angels are mine. Enough. Stop interrupting! Start paying attention. <sighs> I'm taking him. And where I'm taking you is worse than hell. Because at least hell is something. Oh. Oh, God, they look scared. Does that hurt you? Oh, my God. Terrifying. Because I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lily, you need to step up here, love. You're on the clock. I'm ready. Yes, I hope you can hear me. We've got Jack. His shell, it's ready to go. Here's hoping that you're staring at him right now. So if you are, then, uh... That's terrifying. Do your thing, okay? I'm in. Zoom. O E R O E V. Come on, Cass, you've got this. Take me. A little louder, please. Absolutely. Take me not. in his stead. Take me. 
Eons, maybe. But if you'll agree, I will go now and I will go willingly. Deal. Oh, <laughs> but not now. No, 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 no. No, you see, I, I meant what I said. I, I want you to suffer. I want you to go back to, to your normal life and, and forget about this and forget about me. And, and then when you finally give yourself permission to be happy and let the sun shine on your face, when I'll come. That's when I'll come to drag you to nothing. I accept. <gasps> I'm fuming. Fuming at that. Where am I? Easy. It's all right. Is it all right though, Cass? Because I think you just sold your soul to the devil. Why? Why did you do that? Guys, it's a phrase. Because I made a promise. Because I love you, Jack. And Sam and Dean, they love you. And they are fighting for you at this very minute. Oh, 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 do. And I hope that... They don't need to know what happened here. So he's not even going to tell them? I don't want them to worry. <laughs> I won't tell them. I just... I just can't. I promise. Then we should go. <sighs> we didn't get enough time. Shh. Go. Have a great life. I'll be waiting. How dare these actors be so good at their job? It's embarrassing for me. I feel like they're being really inconsiderate, to be honest. <laughs> you ready? I'm not. I'm really not ready. That bit worked. <coughs> Jack, hey, 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 uh, read this. Jack, read this. <coughs> oh, Konu, Gama, who, Lugu, ah, oh, Evi, ah, e, Idulava, oh, Evi, ah, e, Iduva, ja, um, Kada. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Was that my soul? How do you feel? Good. Got his powers. Feel good. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Lily. Thank you. Yeah, Lily. She's gone. Lily. You did good, Lily. You did good. Enjoy hell, I guess. I don't understand. Uh, Why am same. I here? Hmm. Was he testing it? Care to try your luck again? You can change your fate. I just got chills. So because she did the good deed. Did you know what doing the spell would cost you? Say hello to your daughter for me. Hello, Castiel. Wow, this one's a tough one. <laughs> what you did, I know it wasn't for our benefit. But you saved us. I think that deserves a reward, don't you? Like, for example, the Archangel Michael's location. You know where he is? 
We have an idea. And word is, you've been looking for him. Okay. Is uh, something wrong? No. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, something is wrong. Just, you guys don't know about it yet. And we know where Michael is. Not quite sure how you pulled that one off. Well, we, uh, we still don't know where Dark Kaya is or the spear. Yeah, but we will. We'll figure it out. We'll find her. I mean, we found her before. That's right. And then Michael, and that son of a bitch is gonna pay. He's not had a Come blurry on. vision either, has he? Oh my gosh, guys. I feel physically drained after watching that one. I feel like it was so, I mean, the amount of, the amount of tissues I have right now. It was just so emotional. Uh, could have been my mood as well anyway, but I don't think it was. The music that they play, just it triggers something in me. And then looking into the eyes of our boys, it's just, it's uh, emotional. I don't know how else to describe it. I think that with this show, the, it's the relationships that keep it going. And yes, the supernatural's cool, the fighting's cool, the action and all the rest of it. But those are our emotions and those relationships are just so powerful. And this, yeah, this episode definitely uh, provided all of that. When it comes to Cass's decision with the empty, I'm feeling very unnerved by it. More so because I know that there's only one season left. <laughs> uh, it, it just scares me because the empty was very clear in the sense of when you're finally happy, I'm going to take you away. So yeah, I'm not calm about that. And I don't want that to happen at all. But I feel like the writers are the empty. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But that's the way that I feel sometimes because the second I'm happy, they rip my heart out. The Kelly Klein and Jack stuff just triggered me heavily. I think that when it comes to a mother's relationship with her son or daughter, it's just so strong and it's so powerful. And to have Jack be such a wonderful being as well and Kelly get to witness that I just found it so heartwarming and obviously when she her instant thought was that Cass promised her and he didn't succeed it very quickly changed when she spoke to Jack and realized the situation and seeing then Cass come into her heaven as well and explain things to her and for Kelly to say you did everything I asked for. I just can't, I just can't. It's just so good, it's just so good. And yes, I know that I say that I hate the show all the time, which I do, but in the best way, because it's just too good. It's just so good. And when they introduced Lily back in, I was a bit skeptical at first, mainly because of the change, uh, but obviously it, ma it makes sense. And when she said that, oh, well, I'm not getting my end, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. I just thought, who are you to turn around and say no to that, considering the boys did everything they could to get it to happen? So, yeah, I know Dean got his speech out and all the rest of it, but he shouldn't have needed to. She should have just done it anyway. That's all I'm saying. But having said that, it did warm my heart when Anubis said, well, say hi to your daughter. It's just so good. It's so good. There was similarities as well with like the show Lucifer and the show Supernatural when it comes to you deciding your fate and what you're worthy of. So it, it, it's your life and the decisions that you make that tip the scales and it never really ends. Until you're in heaven or hell, those scales are constantly going to change because at proven by Lily there, uh, she was still alive at that point and she was going to hell but because of that decision and yeah it just reminded me a little bit of charlotte obviously very different circumstances but she was very dead set on i'm gonna get a one-way ticket to heaven and then when she realized she didn't she took it down with spiral and then when it came down to it 
she saved a better deal from that bullet there and I'm still not over Charlotte to be fair. Let, let's not talk about it. The actress that played, I don't know what the angel's name is. They say it a few times, but they say it very quick. But the chick that was in Eureka and is in this show as well, like the dark haired girl, her acting was unreal during that the whole empty thing. Like her portrayal of that was just, I was captivated from the start. Like as soon as she turned that on, I was just like, wow, like that's incredible. And it was very unnerving. And I found that really powerful. And it added to the the weight of Cass's decisions as well. Uh, the way that she played that out. I just thought it was great. Liked her a lot. I just spotted how red my nose is there. Dean and Sam like arguing over what decisions to make with Jack and stuff and Cass as well, all involved. Those scenes I will just forever love because it always shows like a different perspective, but they all come down to that one factor, which is love of another person. And they will do whatever it, they, they can to, to get that to happen. And Cass making that decision is very clear on that. I'm not happy about it, guys. I'm still not happy about it. Uh, hopefully he'll be okay. He's probably not gonna be okay though, let's be real. Naomi as well, I always find interesting and the way that she like holds herself and the way she speaks. But when she said about the amount of souls that were at risk, that number is terrifying. And Cass literally saved them. Yes, it's nice that she gave Michael's name, but I feel like he should get a little bit more as well. <laughs> uh, that's just me. I do wonder how heaven is gonna cope and why angels aren't being reproduced. I don't really understand it. We'll see what happens there because surely having now eight angels knocking about and Cass is very busy on earth to be up there doing that. So really it's seven. I wanna know what's going on and how they're gonna cope with that as well as hell. What the hell's going on down there now? What the hell is going on in hell? Surely more mayhem should be going on you know because if i think about old seasons like past seasons i feel like less threat has happened but it felt like it was even worse then because they made such a big deal out of it this is massive no one is controlling hell no one is controlling heaven the numbers are dwindling heavily in heaven like I don't understand why we're not in full on meltdown mode right now, but we seem very distracted on earth with the whole Michael situation. And Jack, of course, as well. But I'm glad that they, they took that as a priority there, 100%. The phone call that Dean made towards Mary just really choked me up, saying like, I'm sorry we should have called you sooner, but I just thought we would find a way like we always do. That line, I don't know, it just upsets me a lot. So I'm wondering if we'll see Mary in the next one and her be like ready to mourn Jack and then be like, uh, I guess he's fine. No, no Hunter's funeral. <laughs> what? I'm sure he's phoned her since then. I'm rambling. I enjoyed this episode a lot, like a lot, a lot. Loved it. Loved seeing Jack's heaven and it just being the boys as well. Like Castiel, Dean and Sam and that was just his happy place. And I just, it just warms my heart and then to see the Kelly Klein thing as well. It's just, oh, my days. I'm interested to see if her heaven is gonna change now because in my opinion, it should be like her happy place now is that moment that she shared. So I wonder if that'll play on loop as well for her. Just an idea. Yeah, so good. So, so good. Thank you all for watching this reaction. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a cheeky thumbs up. It means a lot. Let's me know you're enjoying the content and subscribe to the channel if you would like to. But as always, there's no pressure here. But we hit 25K, guys. I don't know when this one will air on my YouTube, but as I'm filming this, we hit 25,000 subscribers. And honest to God, I'm so grateful for all of you. You mean a lot. Thank you for being here. If you would like to support this content, please head over to my Patreon where I have extended videos and early uploads over there on there. And I have a Twitch as well where I stream every Friday and Saturday. But yeah, without further ado, I shall see you all for the next one. Cheers for watching. Bye.